The rain came suddenly on Wednesday, becoming a torrent which swept away many people, homes and vehicles. These men are attempting to rescue an upturned car. Its tyres can barely be seen above the waterline. Parts of this riverside capital do regularly flood in rainy season, but this deluge is not typical. The water has never come up like this in the last 40 years. We've never seen it at this level. The water rose up by 10 metres, but it normally never passes five. This is a city which has swollen in the last couple of years with people and makeshift homes. Last year's separatist rebellion and coup brought many people to the relative safety of the city from elsewhere in the country. Some people have managed to salvage some possessions, some have lost everything. Many of those who died lived in mud-walled homes that collapsed as the floodwaters encroached. Others lived in parts of the capital without drainage systems. For them, the water simply came too fast. I've lost five people in the floods, my wife and all my children. Mali has many challenges. It's been deserted by tourists and foreign investors, and economic growth is at a 10-year low. Recovering from this flood is yet another challenge for the country's incoming president, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, elected less than three weeks ago. Denise Hammock, BBC News.